Henry Ward Beecher once said that flowers are the loveliest things God ever made without a soul. It was that same creed that inspired John Heinel to create his flower shop in 1863. As a man, he was very generous, very kind, very compassionate, very giving man. He just loved people and he loved helping people. When you see something growing outside that's blooming, when spring hits, it just makes people happy. I mean, it brings a smile to their face. So he loved that about them and the beauty of the flowers and what they would do to people. And I think you have to know your past before you can know your present and future. And I had people say, well, are you going to change the name of Heinel's? And I said, no, I don't want to change the name. He's the one that started the business and I want to help keep his legacy going. It's been that kind of dedication that has allowed Heinel's Flower Shop to continue to thrive. Now, 150 years later, Heinel's is considered one of the oldest running florists in the Midwest. Vonda purchased Heinel's Flower Shop after a tragic turn of events led her back to a childhood love. My husband and I started a construction business and um, we had just had gotten it going really well and then he was diagnosed with leukemia. I kept the construction business going after he died, but it wasn't my passion. I grew up gardening and flowers with my dad. It's just been a natural avenue and something that I've loved to do. So that's how I ended up buying the flower shop 11 years ago. While a few changes have been made to the shop, the mission of Heinel's remains the same even with the onslaught of big box distributors and online competition. One of my favorite sayings is, the earth laughs in flowers. I want people to know the value of nature. We take care of our flowers. We process our buckets twice a week. We process the flowers twice a week. The big box stores don't do that. And uh, they don't do as much education as what we try to do as florists with our customers because people work hard for their money and I want them to have a long shelf life. I don't want them to think, oh, your flowers are really expensive. Well, they are compared to some of the grocery stores, but there's a lot more involved than what we're doing, and we are in the business. They aren't. But it's not just the quality of the flowers and education that set local florists apart. It is also the level of customer interaction. Well, we're here to help them out. I mean, we let them come in, smell the flowers, and check them out. Uh, sort of give them an idea. Everybody says, draw me a picture. So we start gathering flowers up and sort of give them that concept. And a lot of times when you walk into department stores and things like that, they just sort of see what's on the floor and they got to take what's there. Here, we can take and sort out just, just about anything and everything that you want. We're in the emotion business. We deal with emotions every day. You know, people always say, why get flowers are just going to die? Well, my comment to that is, life's about moments. That's all we have are moments. So in that moment, if you get a beautiful flower arrangement, that's what you're going to remember. That's where then we try to come in to keep that moment going and take care of the flowers. But life is about moments and moments that takes your breath away. So that's what we hope that we can do 